Okay, this is an example. I usually would get upset at this, but I'm being self-aware of what's happening to me, how I'm thinking, how I'm reacting. Not reacting, but um, what feelings and you know, what's going on inside of me as, the, as this is happening. And I decided not to act on it. Uh, my son, I took my son to, um, he went into the store and he, he looked for um, the items on the list. There's only three. Um, I was aware that I should not pressure him or look super disappointed in him if he's taking too long or can't find anything. In fact, um, one thing, and it was kind of difficult to find, actually, um, I think an adult would have a hard time finding it too. So, um, but I made sure I wasn't trying to be disappointed at him or make him feel or my facial expressions or I didn't do any suggestions to make him feel bad about it. I said, um, it's in the other aisle. He went ahead and, and did that. Okay, and he found this, he found it. Um, not right away, but he found it. So I counted that as a win. Um, second item he found, um, he was going in, um, I told him beforehand it was frozen, frozen fish, frozen salmon, wild caught salmon. He went to the, um, um, it's the chilled area, not the frozen, and that's okay. Uh, I just corrected it. You know, in the past, I would be upset about that, but um, I'm not, so I let that go. The third thing, the third item, he, I think we found it. It was fine, actually. He did a great job. We went to stand in the cashier lines. I always tell him to make the best choice. Um, he stood in probably one of the longer lines instead of the shorter lines, so I reminded him that, um, um, Make the best choice that you can and modify it. You know, change something if, if, if it's a better option. And he actually did that. He went into another line, which is good. Now we're in the, you're in the line. Um, I gave him um, the money to pay for it. And uh, he didn't pay attention to the cashier very well. Um, the cashier was waiting for, for the item, the groceries to be paid for. Um, he was kind of looking around and gave him a prompt. He went to put it, put it, uh, pay for it, but he had the, all that wad of money. Not, not that I have a lot of money, but just the money that I had was folded. And he didn't um, count it. He didn't know how much he had. He didn't know how much the total was. He was, wasn't paying attention. So in the past, I'll be super upset at that. For him not being prepared, not thinking ahead, um, but I am okay. I'm okay. It's still inside of me. There's still, you know, I'm upset internally, but I am being aware, and I'm and I'm going to. My goal is not for him to do things perfectly the way I want, but it's for him to learn and to get better. So I think um, I'm going to just have a follow-up conversation later. Because um, internally, I am not raging, but I am upset um, because this is what I deal with. I, I struggle with my feelings and my thought patterns. I have OCPD. Um, I have steps and rules, and he does. He, he's not like me. He doesn't have steps and rules for himself. So, um, and that's okay. I love my son. I want to have a good relationship with him. I'm going to talk to him later after, after, I'm, after I calm down internally. And I'm going to not let him know that I'm upset in any way. This is something that I, as a parent, I need to deal with. Because I want to keep a good relationship with my with my son. All my children and, and other people too. So um, I count this as a victory. Of being self-aware. And letting things go that can be let go. And the goal is that he's getting better the goal is not that he needs to do things perfectly or I'll get upset at every single thing he does wrong um, and call it out but I will be um, helpful instructing and um, making sure things actually happen instead of uh, you know, the line getting super long and the cashier getting getting impatient with the with my son who might not be 
paying for the items. Um, so yeah, I count this as a win. There's, I used to be black and white, pass or fail. I'm not going to be that person anymore. The goal is not perfection. The goal is that they learn skills that they need to and that they will get better. And um, I will remind them as it's happening and I will talk to them after I calm down about it. Okay, so I hope this is um, this helps others. God bless you.